is good guys welcome back to another video i'm qah bringing you a speed run of this event make sure to like comment and subscribe to what do we owe the honor today important business to discuss with master d luke i presume that's right adeline since we've run into you maybe we could just get you to help us with this one we'll pay a deposit just name the price of course I can, and no deposit necessary. But I'm afraid you might be in for quite a wait. Dawn Winery's discount grape juice takes a long time to make. It makes an ideal alternative for the heaviest drinkers, because they won't get drunk and start causing mischief. At the same time, those who don't drink alcohol get the chance to try something new. To try something new. <laughs> Imagine if everyone could just enjoy a nice glass of wine and have a good time while keeping their wits about them and not creating trouble for others. <laughs> now, wouldn't that be a miracle? Message! Blinding sunlight is such a pain. No way I can get a nap in this weather. Hi. gone for so long. Sorry if it was too much trouble. That's okay. We did offer to help. There is one small thing you could do for me, though. Please, take this letter and place it on the table to your right as you enter the door. There are a few archived letters on that table already. Just put this one at the very top of the pile. Of course. Master Diluc greatly values your friendship. Thanks again for the help. Fast. Woo! There he is! What are you agonizing over? Miss Adeline asked us to put these letters in a pile, and we can't tell which order they should go in. But, uh, it's your personal mail, so it'd be rude for us to read them without your permission. <sighs> no 
There's no need to be nervous. And I can see from the looks on your faces that they've grabbed your interest. These letters deal with events that are past and gone. I only held on to them in case any of the information they contain proves useful later down the line. I just dug them out to confirm a few details. I've been following some rather unique developments recently. You were involved in the events in question anyway. You can read them if you want to. It's not a bad thing to be curious. No fear! We still have some super important things to discuss with D-Luke. Not to mention a whole bunch of... All right, let's just sort these letters for... If there's one thing we can take away from these, it's that Master D-Luke has had a pretty difficult past. Not only was he misunderstood by the Knights of Phonius, but he's faced all kinds of other obstacles, too. Sounds like it's tough being Captain Pyro. We can give him all the help he could ever want. Oh, out of friendship, of course. Definitely not just for the grape juice. <laughs> Wait, what? Is there a problem? Yep, it was by that leyline anomaly. That was your past self, right? Huh. I'm surprised it made such an impression. Do you mind telling us about it? What happened back then? Why were you fighting there? They launched an offensive on several fronts at once. Unfortunately for them, they were still no match for me. We were fighting in an area on Falcon Coast. And everything was recorded by the unusually active ley lines. They must have become unstable again recently, causing them to let out all kinds of information from that time. Hence why you saw what you saw. For starters, you only need to deal with the monsters and the ley line deposit will stay dormant, as long as it isn't disturbed again. On the other hand, if I'd done nothing at all, the Knights of Favonius would have taken over straight away. Knowing how they work, they'd be sure to send a large contingent to guard the site. Wouldn't that have been a good thing? Depends. Most of the knights are away on expeditions, so they don't have a lot of people to spare. If the Ley Line Anomaly was just a diversion tactic, the Abyss Order could have been poised to attack somewhere else entirely, while the knights were scrambling to send what limited forces they have to Falcon Coast. But anyway... I have no interest in talking to the Knights of Favonius. I prefer to get to the bottom of things myself rather than waste time negotiating with them. And it was easy enough for me to find out the Abyss Order's plans. Take a few Abyss Mages hostage and they soon start talking. As for the Knights of Favonius, I've sent someone to enlist their cooperation where it's needed. It's their job to handle situations like this. They ought to be present when things come to a head. I don't like working closely with the Knights of Favonius because of our differences in philosophy. But that doesn't mean we can't watch each other's backs when it counts. Oh, seems like you have even more control over things now than you used to, D-Luke. The best way to deal with any threat is to utilize all the force at your disposal. Anyway, thank you for your help. Adeline brought me up to speed with everything. In return, I have a gift for your trouble. Great juice! The packaging is so fancy! It must be really expensive! This is my personal favorite grape juice, made of the highest quality grapes. I happen to have an unopened batch, so I brought you a bottle to try. I didn't know you were such fans of grape juice. Next time you want some, don't bother waiting for the discount. Just go down to the cellar and help yourselves. It's on the house. Woohoo! Pyman's gonna tell everyone we meet that we're VIPs at Don Winery! This one bottle must be worth at least, like... 50,000 Mora! <laughs> and he gave it to us for free! Thank you so much, Master D-Luke! <laughs> if 
hope you're free tonight. You're welcome to stay for dinner. Adeline is already making it. Uh, there are, however, a few things I need to take care of before dinner time. Yes. Passiveness is not my style. Though I had my suspicions at the start, everything I've come across so far in my investigation suggests that the Abyss Order was not behind this. Since this arose from natural causes, it's time to wrap things up. Um, so what should we do? Right, sure. After all, he did just give us this amazing grape juice. Wait, uh, no, uh, what was it? After all, even when the odds of success are nine to one, you must never lower your guard. <sighs> well said. In that case, let's... Okie dokie, Captain Pyro. You can take it a little easier than... Come on, let's go! This... Torn to oblivion! There is no escape! disappear before long. Oh, thanks to the power of teamwork! See? Even Captain Pyro needs his trusty sidekick sometimes. It can't be Master Diluc saving the day by himself every single time. Many hands make light work. Sidekicks. Hmm. It's been a long time since I last worked with others. It's not so bad. If the opportunity arises, let's team up again in the future. Kamisato on. Suyu!
Solidify! <laughs> the depth's back! Whirling snow! Take flight! Strike! Shah! <laughs> 